Hey guys, I'm gonna show you this fun portable flower press. Okay, so I know it doesn't look like a whole lot, but here's why this is so cool. So I love pressing flowers, and the kit that I had when I was younger had these super heavy, sticky, outy, hard metal bits, and they would break everything else in my bag. So this is your portable one that you can throw in whatever you're going hiking in, and you have three spots, so this it's kind of this peachy colored paper, for you to press your flowers in, okay? So again, this is just for you to take with you wherever you're going, and it's not a ton, but it's, again, it's a travel kit. What's nice about it is that it, it comes out really easily, and then you strap it shut. But here's the other thing I wanna show you, why this is so cool. I thought through this, guys. I really gave this a lot of thought. This is your cardboard piece, and every flower kit I ever had only ever had cardboard, and what would that do? It would leave these stupid lines on your beautiful flowers or leaves. So, that's why you also have this little thin piece of chipboard. So what that does is it keeps your flower from getting any lines on it. The cardboard's important because of the because of those corrugates that also give you the lines. It allows airflow through. So don't forget to keep your cardboard in your kit. If you want to add more of these, you totally can. So here's how it goes. Your cover, which you get to decorate. Isn't that fun? I can't wait to see your covers. You better post them on Facebook so we can see them. Piece of cardboard, skinny piece of chipboard, paper and your flowers are going between, and then it just repeats. Another piece of paper, another piece of skinny chipboard, piece of corrugated, and it repeats. Another piece of skinny chipboard, paper, etc. That makes sense? So if you wanna add layers, you totally can. Pretty much any paper will do. This is a little bit thicker than your normal paper, and it should be good to absorb. It's, it's really a great paper for what this kit is. And that's how it works. And then when you're done, like you can lay down on the trail, put your flowers in, and you put your strap in. Try to have your strap as close to the middle as you can so that it will distribute your pressure and then just pull it, snap it, and you're good. Throw it back in your pack. And there's your travel flower press. When you get home, you're gonna take it apart, put your strap somewhere where you won't lose it, and then you're just gonna put it in a place that's not gonna have anybody bothering it and you're gonna stack a bunch of heavy books on top for a couple days. Then you can pull them off after a couple days and check them and see how your flowers are doing. When they're done, you can take them out of there and if everything's dry again, you can just strap it back up. If it's not dry, just fan it out, let it dry. And then when it's dry, put it back together and strap it up and you're ready to go again. I've heard that, well, a great place to keep your flowers is actually inside of a book. And you can put a piece of paper and then a flower and then another piece of paper. And that's a great place to store your flowers until you're ready. The other place I've, I've stored my paper, my flowers is in like a, a gift box with some paper on top and underneath it. So, have fun.